For my project, I'll be talking about sensor dart, but before I get to that, I'm going to give you some background information. Much like books, art can be banned for a variety of reasons. For violence, racism, religion, death, and more. An example of this would be Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird, which presents issues of racism, sexual situations, and violence. Another important piece to look at is Slaughterhouse-Five. This piece was banned because the plot was seen as violent, vulgar, and anti-Christian. A couple other books that deal with issues pertaining to censorship are of Mice and Men and 1984. Much like books, art can be challenged, censored, or banned for the same reasons. Michelangelo's The Last Judgment was a banned piece because it presented issues of religion, death, and destruction. Another banned piece of art was Thomas Eakins' The Gross Clinic. In this painting, Thomas Eakins, the surgeon, is performing surgery. Many people were uneasy about this because blood was depicted and it was kind of seen as violent. It is also important to note that this piece was uncensored. Many people eventually saw the educational side of it and how it was trying to teach and not be profane. Edward Monet's Olympia presented many issues. As seen, this is a nude woman receiving flowers from her servant. This did cause it to be censored because it presents slavery and it was too graphic with nudity. What you'll see now are other examples of banned art. These pieces can range from anywhere from a drawing, to a painting, to a sculpture, and even a photo. All of these pieces shown have either been banned within the past few hundred years or even now, and it is important to understand that censorship still goes on today. Moving on to my banned art, I'm going to give you background information for what inspired me. A book we read in class was Marcus Zusak's The Book Thief. I decided to base my piece off of this book because it presents themes that were present then and can be applied to today, which were death, destruction, religion, and more. For my band piece, I decided to draw a soldier overlooking the graves of his friends and death in the distance looming over him. Breaking down this piece, we'll first take a look at death. Death is a theme common in many censored, challenged, or banned books that presents issues. These issues can arise because it deals with the afterlife, religion, and other instances that parents don't want their children exposed to. Another idea presented in this piece is religion. The crosses represent religion and can be seen as censorship-worthy material because it only talks about one religion. When discussing religion in censored pieces, many people want to see more than one religion presented because if only one is presented, then it can be seen as people trying to persuade you to convert or not being open-minded to other ideas. A third important idea to discuss is destruction. Destruction is an important idea because people don't want their children or anybody to be exposed to violence. Discussing violence or destruction, many people fear that it could influence others to act that same way, and that is why these paintings or books can be censored or challenged. Ideas are represented by the planes in the sky and the smoke billowing up from the fire set from bombs. The last important idea presented in this picture is the lack of color. I chose to do this because I wanted to instill the idea of the despair and destruction of the time. When looking at banned art, it is important to understand why they were censored. Whether it be for violence, racism, religion, death, or more, it is important to take these into account. 
Whether you are for or against banning, it is important to see the educational ideas and benefits behind each piece, whether it be a book or art. There are ideas presented that can help you have a new outlook on the world and life.